Hi, Stephanie DiGiano here, just doing a quick video to uh, show you how to mask your domain in HostGator. Now, um, it, just to make sure that you are doing the right thing because there's so much terminology. Essentially, um, if you were like me and say you purchased a domain outside of HostGator because you got a really good deal, I think I started my domains at 99 cents through one in one, and then um, I just uh, trans I transfer the DNS over to HostGator and I pay a monthly hosting bills like ten dollars a month um, it works for me because uh, not only do I have my website on there my blog but any um, funnels that I have set up out there in internet land I can all have it connected through my hosting um, so what I have is my website actually has a really long link um, very difficult to promote uh, heck is difficult to remember and um, when you're doing any type of marketing regardless of what your business is you want to make sure that the domain in itself is going to be easy to promote and excuse me if you hear my cartoon background noise my son is kind of attached to my hip this is why I run my own business from home um, so anyways uh, you know anytime you are um, promoting anything regardless of the business or um, type of business that you run you want to make sure that your domains are easy to remember for your clients because things happen in day-to-day -day lives people forget things so that is my tip to you so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to mask it so that um, when people are going to my domain um, magneticleadsolutions.com it's taking them to my blog um, or to whatever pages on my site that I have so when you log into HostGator you'll see the page that we have here um, go ahead and scroll down there's two main areas that you will um, work with probably more than any especially in the beginning and that is files and your domain section which is here okay uh, for this training uh, you're gonna work with files you're gonna go to your file manager which is right here okay make sure you have the um, domain because you can have multiple domains uh, make sure this is the one that you're looking to work with as it is mine uh, I'm just gonna move this the screen over a little bit so now we're in the file manager and um, if you look here onto the left you should see something that says public HTML you want to go ahead and open that up. It's going to give you some drop down options. Um, I want to work with Magnetic Lead Solutions, which is here, so I'm going to open that up. And um, I'm going to go ahead, and now that I have this open, and this is the domain that I want to work with, I am going to add a new folder, which I am going to name blog because I want it to go to magneticleadsolutions.com forward slash blog. Okay? And create a new folder. Now you have it here, and if you also look here, when you open up Magnetic Lead Solutions, whatever you named your file, or your folder, I should say, is going to be here. All right, and just go ahead and highlight it so it's selected, because now we want to um, open it up, and it's going to be an empty directory at this point, right? So here is where you're going to add a new file, and um, the file name can be blog. Oh, no, 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 I'm sorry. Wrong, wrong, wrong. It's index.php. Index.php. Okay. Um, go ahead and highlight that. And we are going to go into the code editor. Okay. Here you're going to have um, blank code. And that's okay. You don't need to know anything about HTML. You're actually going to open up a new tab. And you're going to Google redirect masking URL HTML. And the one that we're going to select, because I kind of already looked for the one that I wanted, but it's going to be here. So it's www.ontwerps.nl forward slash domain dash redirect dash keeping dash URL dash path dash URL dash masking. So um, pause, take a look at this link, and this is the one we're going to. All right. Now we're going to scroll down. It's going to give you code for um, for all kind of different stuff. We're looking for method three using the iframe tag for URL masking, and there's going to be some code in here that we're going to copy, 
and we're going to take that back over and we're going to paste it right there. Now, um, I want to go to my blog. So I'm going to grab my link to my blog and I am going to pop it right here in between your, um, I forget what you call those little things, but if you look at my screen, it's directly in between those two quotation marks, I want to say. I hope that's the right terminology, but oh well. See, you don't need to be, you don't need to be a genius to do this. It's very simple. So just go ahead and paste in the link that you want. And the only other thing you need to do is know the width and the frame. Now, you can go to the site that you're sending it to and you can use a tool that's called Jing. It's free. And I'm basically it's a screen uh, screen capture tool. So when you go to screen capture, it's going to give you the width, which my width is going to be 1366. See it here? 1366, right? Now the height is not correct there. Now I'm going to go back over here real quick before I get into the height and I'm going to put my width in. All right, I know it's 1366. Now for my particular page it's pretty tricky doing something like a video or something that will show up just in this area. Um, for the most part Jing is going to give you the height and the width. However, for mine um, it's a little bit more difficult because I have a really long um, page here because it has my blog post and I want it to go down. I want people to be able to scroll all the way down. So you got to kind of play with it a little bit. So for example, when I look at this, it's showing me that the height is 624 if you can see that there in the bottom right corner, right? But if I escape out of there and I just scroll down to where it ended before and I go back to my Jing and do the same thing you'll see it in just a second oh, it's not going to do it now it should update the height the 624 it, it should update for you um, but basically I played with it I essentially to get the right number um, I kept playing with this number and what I did for example I'm gonna put in 15,000 I'm gonna save it and um, for me I keep two different browsers um, I don't really use Internet Explorer but sometimes I might so um here's my um, com forward slash blog so we're going to come here and um, I'm going to scroll down to see where does it end to see if my 15,000 really got me to the end. And it didn't because if you look, what does the end of it show? The end of it shows my banner, right? So it doesn't quite get to the end. So I'm going to go back over to my C panel and I'm going to change that 15,000 to 20,000. Let's see if and save changes. And I'll go back to my other browser and I'm going to check it. And if you don't have a browser, you can just pull up a page um, and you'll be able to do the same thing. And I'm just going to refresh. Okay. Now it gave me some more space, right? Because I changed the numbers on it. Let's see how far it goes. I need to update my blog. See? Okay, now it's getting it down. So my terms and conditions, all of my stuff that's here, it's still going to show it. So now I know people will be able to um, get to my blog and they'll be able to see the full thing. So awesome. So once you have determined that, you're all done. You just need to close it out. And um, that's it. And you're good. So um, that is it for today. I will leave down the links for one in one in HostGator. Maybe if you stumbled upon this video and you would like to get that great deal um, for the domain. 
uh, you can there will be a link down there it'll take you to one in one and of course if you're looking to set up your host gator there will also be a link there and I'm gonna leave a link for my blog and connect with me leave comments in YouTube subscribe to me because as I do different training videos and I'm doing stuff in my own business I like to share them with others because I researched and um, research the information and now I know it so let me share it to you so that it makes it just a little bit easier and you don't have to do as much work as perhaps I had to when I was trying to find the answer so um, subscribe to my channel and um, connect with me on social media sites all of my stuff will be at the bottom and I would like to say um, one love thanks for um, watching my video hope you enjoyed it hope it was helpful take care